Jon's now leaving all this behind, and pretty soon he'll be in London. I know it's very, very easy to take benefit in England. She's given me home free, yeah? She's given me money free, she's given me everything. They're the next generation living off the state. Very naughty boy. I'll get child benefit, tax credit, housing benefit. I've got a better life here than my country. I'm never gonna go to back to Slovakia, so never. Yeah. I want to break free. I'm gonna take benefit from England. Yeah, England is one country with much money. I need maybe four, four, zero thousand pounds for my family. And I think this money I, I can make in one year, maybe two. Like more problems in the Page Hall area of Sheffield. The area made national headlines when the former Home Secretary, David Blunkett, highlighted tensions following an influx of Roma Slovak migrants. A year ago, Sheffield Council introduced excuse me, <coughs> a, ske a scheme which asked landlords to stop their houses becoming overcrowded and to prevent their tenants fly-tipping or playing loud music. But some residents say it's done nothing to improve the area. Mark Ansell has this. I've lived here about 12 years. I've never seen a rat until last, what, probably eight to 10 months. I've got two traps. I've killed 39 in them. But life still goes on. I can't get used to living without, living without, living without you by my side. Introducing the money scheme where landlords pay to 
need money, I don't have any money with me. I hope very quickly to take my benefit, yeah? For me and for my family and my friends, the same. Because benefit, she's given me home free, she's given me water free, rent, everything, no training, nothing. I plan to stay in UK. How much is gonna be benefit? At first 10 years, 10 years. At first 13 years, 13 years. At first two years, what can I do? Two years. So now he's back, he knows he can get child benefits for his kids, even if they're still in Romania. Because benefits I take very easy. I know my children, my baby is not here. I have papier for all my family and my friends is gonna help me and take benefit but my family in Romania. I know it's very easy. And it'll all go towards Jan's target of forty thousand pounds. 1,300 miles away in Rotherham, South Yorkshire, there's a huge gypsy family that's already getting cash from the welfare state. Meet Katarina Cicerova and her husband, Peter. They're Slovakian Roma, who came to the UK seven years ago. And their clan is much bigger than most families on benefits. Grandkids, we have 11, very nice. And children? <laughs> we are a big family, massive, 22 people together. Big family, Slovakia people. <laughs> Katerina lives with four of her kids and an out-of-work husband. They get about 24 grand a year in benefits, six times the handouts they get in Slovakia. All but one of her grown-up kids and their families live off benefits too. Tu nam dobre do anglicku, tu sebe žijeme, tu máme všetko, čo chceme, ale toto sme nemali na Slovensku, čo tu. Jak katalog Kristo Manka? Život, nie? Zariadenie. Byty sme nemali na Slovensku, lebo nemali sme tam elektriky, nemali sme tam radiátory. In the seven years she's been here, Katerina's worked for just one month. Husband Peter's had various jobs, but nothing for two years. I can't even have a job, no food. Nothing more. No. I'm not going back. No. Never. I'm like here, England. England give me house. Give me doctor, give school. Benefit. England is good. Thank you so much, England. Mr. Christopher Chu! Mr. Speaker, may I share my right honourable friend's disappointment that despite all his hard work, the European Union is forcing him to abandon our manifesto pledge uh, to change the benefit system for migrants? And will my right honourable friend confirm that sadly, the only way in which we're going to be able to regain control over our own borders is by leaving the European Union. Yeah. Well, I, I'm great restraint for my uh, right old friend, but we don't agree on this one. We said in our manifesto that uh, anyone coming to Britain from the... But life still goes on.
the battle of Britain is about to begin. Upon it depends our own British life and the long continuity of our institutions. All Europe may be freed and the life of the world may move forward into broad, sunlit uplands. But if we fail, then the whole world, including the United States, including all that we have known and cared for, will sink into the abyss of a new dark age, made more sinister and perhaps more protracted by the lights of perverted science. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty and so bear ourselves that if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour. <laughs>